I'm Kisa Shreen with Climate Money Work Quick News. So here's what happened. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a new law, SB 253, also known as the Climate Corporate Data Accountability Act. And this is what happens with it. Over 5,000 companies operating in California, making more than about 1 billion in annual revenue, so that's the scope, they will need to report their direct and indirect emissions. Now, these activities range from emissions from office buildings to emissions from business travel to emissions from how a company transports their goods. Now, we have a breakdown of these direct and indirect emissions known as scope one, scope two, and scope three in the link in the notes. But scope three is definitely seen as the most challenging. So here's why it matters. Allies of this measure say that this lends to transparency around how companies um, measure their activities that can contribute to climate issues. And this transparency in turn helps the public understand and really helps to give companies some incentive around finding effective and efficient ways to reduce emissions. Critics say that the cost of measuring and reporting emissions at this level is just too hefty, especially for small businesses. And even larger companies, according to the critics, may not know how to measure and report emissions given the range that they're being asked to report on. So here's what we can expect as a result. Behavioral change. Behavioral change will be at the foundation. Now, some companies are already reporting emissions and companies that are not will likely start looking at emissions reporting with some of the same rigor as they do financial reporting. Now, I know that's a huge step and a huge leap, but we do believe that'll happen. And that means that they will look at having dedicated resources in the firm to do this measuring and reporting, as well as external outside the firm for auditing. Greater investment in data is something that we're expecting off the back of this. And investors, as well as regulators, and just overall the market will likely reward the companies that will apply this rigor and this intentionality toward investment. Now, there is so much more, so much more that will unfold as this rolls out through approvals and implementation. And we will be right here at Climate Money Work to discuss this with you. There is the Climate Money Work podcast and the Climate Money Work newsletter. So please be on the lookout for more information about this and so much more. Please also subscribe to the podcast. The link is right below. I'm Kisa Shreen. Be well.